The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry says the UK's decision to leave the EU may not have a profound effect on the Nigerian economy. Stockbrokers in Nigeria say when the UK eventually pulls out of the EU, we may see a negative impact on the Nigerian economy since the UK has most of their trading partners here in Africa. However, the LCCI says that is highly unlikely. Mm. Well, I think the impact on the Nigerian economy is not likely to be that profound, particularly when you look at the relationship and our exposure to the UK economy. Uh, in terms of trade, uh, UK accounts for just about 4.4 percent of Nigerian trade in the, in, the, in, the, in the global economy. That is not too, that is not too profound. Uh, of course, we have Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians in, in Britain. Uh, I mean, close to 2 million or more Nigerians are in Britain. Uh, there could be some challenges in that respect. Because in this whole scenario, the issue of immigration is, is, is very prominent. And uh, to that extent, some diaspora remittances may be affected. Because Nigeria is perhaps the largest uh, recipients of diaspora remittances in Africa. And a good chunk of that also comes from, from UK. So there could be some effect uh, from the perspective of diaspora remittances. Uh, there could also be some effect from the perspective of the currency. Although that could be positive. Because if positive for Nigeria. Positive for Nigeria because with the unfolding development, it is likely that the uh, British pounds or the UK currency will become weakened because exit from the EU and even the expectation and the uncertainty that is already driving some decisions has led to the weakening of the pounds sterling and it could also continue like that and to that extent that will make imports from the UK cheaper for countries that import from UK so the few things that we import from UK will be, cheaper, will be cheaper for us then secondly it is also possible that because of our affinity with the United Kingdom, you know, dating back to the colonial times, and particularly within the framework of the Commonwealth, it is possible that we even get closer, you know, when they, you know, exit from the from the EU. So, from the trade perspective, first the shock will not be much on us. From the diaspora remittances perspective, there could be some issues because when the immigration rules become tighter, uh, some Nigerians may be affected. Nigerians that are also having investments in the UK, such investment may also be adversely affected, and that could also affect their capacity in terms of remittances to the country. Okay. When things happen like this, there is the issue of uncertainty that will creep in. And that is what has reflected in the financial markets, globally and even in Nigeria. But for me, these are temporary things. As things stabilize, I think uh, it tends to be back to normal. And when we talk about portfolio investment, I mean, quite a lot of it also comes from the EU itself, the larger Europe. I agree some come from the UK, but a much larger number come from the United States, come from the EU. You know, I think what is happening now are decisions based on expectations, decisions driven by uncertainty. So. Investors normally, including portfolio investors, will have to step back a little to see how all these things play out before they take some uh, decisions going forward in terms of investment. Quite a number of Nigerian banks actually have um, branches in the United Kingdom. Um, what potential impact could this have on you know, the, the, the operations of these banks, especially here in Nigeria? Well, not materially. Because the effects will be dependent on the volume of business that is generated from UK. And when you talk, look at it within the context of trade, then you'll be looking more at issues of trade finance. You could be looking more at some offshore financing that has come from UK. From the point of view of capital importation from UK, financing source capital from the point of view of a weaker UK currency, I think will, will even be easier. For, for those who have uh, you know, either borrowed money from UK or something. And from the point of view of trade finance, not much trading is taking place. So if you look at the, the volume of transactions with many of our banks, compare the total 
compare with the total value of transaction that is taking place, with the total portfolio of that transaction, it is not likely to be that material. So I don't think that there could be any material impact on the Nigerian banking system arising from this uh, Brexit.